solutions can be of many types for example solid in liquid example salt plus water or it can be solid plus solid alloy now what what happens when solid gets mixed up in a gas example is smoke unburnt carbon particles and sand and some other solid particles are mixed in gas then sometimes it can be gas in gas like air then it can also be liquid in gas as in the case of cloud mist fog the basic idea is that solution is not only liquid and solid the solution there can also be two liquids then there is another gas plus liquid gas in a liquid like aerated drinks carbon dioxide is there in water so this is also there then there can be liquid and liquid as in the case of sugar syrup and water like roux afza so these are some of the examples of a solution now what are the characteristics of a solution first thing is that why we are not able to see the solute particles the reason is that they break up into such tiny particles that we cannot even see them with naked eye that is they are only 1 nm very small particles Ten raised to the power of minus nine meter. Now, because they are so small, even if we put a beam of light on them, it cannot scatter light. Not not only the particles are very small; they are also very light in weight. so even if we leave a solution undisturbed the solute does not settle down so what does that mean it's a stable mixture and of course it is homogeneous so another feature of a solution is that it cannot be filtered so when you dissolve sugar salt or copper sulfate as in the first beaker you did you saw all these things you could not see particles then they could not scatter light if you threw a beam of light through your torch nothing will happen then even if you let it stay there nothing settled down sugar did not settle down and it was homogeneous uniformly distributed you can taste water from any side top or bottom or middle it will equally taste sweet so that means it has been uniformly distributed 